Alright, so here we are the next day. Handle's been annealed, hopefully. Here's what our blade is looking like overall. Happy with the way it came out. We've got a nice thin edge. It looks like it is uh, two millimeters across, or uh, it's about two millimeters or less uh, along the entire blade. So that's so that's good. Uh, it's a little thinner right in here, but that's okay. Maybe a little bit thicker up in the the point there. We'll see how that shapes up in the grind. So I got to clean up our profile, sharpen up this uh, point. We'll clean up our our little. Uh, valley here make this this peak a little bit uh sharper I'm trying to decide how i want to do the uh grind i've got this set up for uh, basically just a i could i could grind just the edge here and just leave the blade kind of with that brute to forge style but with these sog type knives you know they have this kind of central rib in the grind there so i might i might try to uh polish up this edge here we'll we'll see how that We'll see how that goes. We'll get there when we get there. I do want to do a sharp and false edge right here, but not here. We've got quite a bit of handle material, so up in here is where the guard needs to fit. And so I'm thinking right in here is where we can get our our guard to uh, lock in. So that should butt up there nicely. I might have that recessed a little bit. But the guard needs to fit. To get that guard on, I need to thin down the handle material in here so I can get the guard on. So playing around with some uh, handle designs, I can grind this to shape and then I'll be able to get that that guard on there. I think this will be kind of a cool uh, handle design. So uh, having extra material isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm just going to carefully grind it away to uh, get it where I need it to go. My initial thought was to, you know, kind of make this handle forge the shape. Obviously, we don't have that, but that's okay. From doing that hammer block, we do have a little bit of a step down set up for our Ricasso already, which is kind of cool, kind of a, a plunge grind, I, sh I should say. We'll get this on the grinder and see about cleaning up this profile. Still got more cleaning up to do, but this caliper fits where the guard's got to go, and we can slide that all the way down, and then right there looks like we might need to take might need to take a little bit off there, or maybe a little bit more out of there. So if you imagine this is our slot for the guard, it should fit on like that, and slide all the way down. So we have our, our kind of pinky hook finished up there. So now we just need to take this, take that out, and complete that, uh, complete our taper for the palm swell. Before I do that, since I'm already set up with a big 10-inch wheel, we'll clean up the, the false edge and our little sway back here. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy with that little palm swell there. Got a little bit of a flat spot right there, so I might kind of bring that down a little more severe, but that's, uh, that's definitely what I'm looking for. So yeah, the idea there is it'll kind of lock your, lock your hand in. So now we got, we got enough clearance for our guard. It'll go all the way down. I think the next thing we can do now is start working on our, on our guard. All right, so for the guard, got some half inch square stock here. So I'm gonna figure out how far I want it to protrude. And something like that will be good. Give myself a little bit extra. I'll try this little pin punch tool here and see if this will leave a nice visible mark. Yeah. I should be able to see that 
once I get it once I get it hot so now I'll get this hot and I'll get my chisel and it'll probably you know about an inch and a half chisel and I'll I'll mark that out Looks like we cut all the way through. Now we can get this over the vise and punch it through all the way. A little crooked. We'll see if we can neaten that out with some filing. All right, so we're all the way through the guard here. Got a pretty ample opening. I'm gonna have to clean that up with the files though, uh, especially that way and that way to make sure we can get it onto the, uh, the tang. Uh, but just for shits and giggles, I'm going to try forging in uh, the kind of sweeping point of the guard. Um, I could just do it all with the grinder, but I'll try at least getting a little bit of a rough shape on the horn. interesting I don't hate that but that wasn't certainly wasn't the plan let's uh, switch over to the next one see what happens This is gonna end up being too big. If I was doing like a armoring sword, that would actually be a pretty, a pretty sweet guard. I'd have to keep that in mind for, for next time. Alrighty, so now the pommel slips in there. All right, so I got it fit up to about there. I need just a little bit more to get it uh, to where I need it to go. Um, so I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try hot fitting the rest of this on there. So we'll get the guard back in the forge. Alright, so I uh, cut the guard down, so here's what it's looking like. This is a little bit shorter than what I would, would like, so I think what I'm going to do is get this back in the forge, see if I can forge this out a little bit longer, taper it out, maybe this one as well, but otherwise we're in good shape, like it fits on there nice and it's coming together kind of the way I want it to, but let's just see if I can, uh, I'd like to see if I can make this a little bit better.
already looking a little more even. So that's good. I think while I'm at it, I'll take the, uh, the cut. This one kind of curves down a little bit. I'll try to take that out. Alright, so that's what we're looking like after the forge. Cooled it down. Uh, I think I'll be able to clean this up the rest of the way on the grinder and get the uh, the shape I'm looking for. But I'm uh, I'm definitely happier with this. Alrighty, that's a lot better. I'm I'm much happier with that. Uh, shape of the guard. It still fits up uh, the way it's supposed to. Got it ground all nice and lined. Might need to adjust this one a little bit, but uh, no, the polish is good. I'll, I'll be able to polish that up um, with the work sharp or some uh, little buffing wheels, but uh, as far as the roughed in guard, I'm happy with that. That's, that's definitely what I'm looking for. All right, sweet. Yeah, that looks good, feels good. Everything's going according to plan so far. Okay, so I'm drilling the holes on the uh, drilling the holes out on the knife here, and I've got um, curly maple handle slabs, and I've actually got these super glued to the tang itself. I've got already got the holes drilled through the knife itself and one side here, so I just super glued this other side on. But the idea here is that I can drill through the wood and the and the tang, and then that should make sure that the pinholes are nice and straight going through all the pieces because we, uh, we do have a, a tapered uh, tang here. Alright, so we got the holes drilled on either side. So now, hopefully I can just pop these apart. Now everything, uh, now I know everything lines up, so I can uh, I can trim these scales down a little bit closer to the actual size, and then I also tried to uh, line these up so that the grain so that the grain will match up when they're on the knife itself. Well, we'll see how it goes. It should should be good. Alright, here's how our handle's looking. It's still pretty thick and chunky. Uh, I just recently bought this 4-inch contact wheel from Broadbeck Ironworks. I got it mounted on here. This will actually be my first time using it. So we'll, we'll see how it goes and uh, see about getting this uh, handle thinned down without taking too much off. So for uh, 
grinding the blade here, I think I'm going to start with the uh, the false edge. And um, you know, the sog knives have kind of got the big swooping uh, grind on the reverse edge, so I think I'm going to probably try to do that. Uh, I'm going to start with just this part here, and then I'll see about um, expanding it out. And uh, I've got a 60 grit belt on here. I'm going to start there, we'll see how it goes. Alright, <clears throat> here's where we're at. Progress is a little bit slower than I'd like with the, the 60 grit. Um, still pretty thick, thick edge there, so uh, I'm going to go with a old 36 grit and uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll knock off some of this, uh, this fire scale with that. Take a break on the false edge here. I'm going to start grinding in the primary edge bevel. Still on that old 36 grit belt. <coughs> Once I kind of get an initial uh, bevel in there and get some of this uh, scale off, then I'll probably switch over to a, uh, a fresh 36 grit belt. So I went from that fresh 36 grit belt to a fresh 120. So I've kind of got this set going on the 120, and here's the, the side with the 36 grit. So we're starting to get there. I'm, I'm uh, starting to get locked into how this grind is going to go. You know, I kind of forged this um, kind of in that brute to forge style, so the edge was already pretty thin, so it doesn't give me a whole lot of leeway to work with. I'm not going to really get real crisp. Uh, you know, grind lines or plunge lines or anything like that, but uh, just gotta keep on, keep on grinding, no pun intended. Here's where we're at with the blade. Um, kind of took it to a 120. Uh, ended up doing, kind of completing this false edge all the way to way back here. It's not the not the prettiest. But right now I'm going to switch over to a uh, 300 grit Trizec belt, and we'll see if I can get this smoothed up a little bit before I take it to hand sanding. There's where we're at after the 300 grit. I think we're in pretty good shape. You know, I don't even know if I'm gonna do hand sanding on this. Uh, we're looking pretty good. I think after heat treating, it'll kind of help disguise any blemishes. Cause I'm gonna end up gluing this anyways. So it's at a stage where, you know, any more I do just risks screwing it up. Sharp. The false edge is already kind of sharp. I nicked myself there. I just caught it. And Open myself up. 
but the whole thing's pretty darn thin right now, so it's quite a bit quite a bit lighter than it was. So I think I'm just gonna leave well enough alone, and we'll we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it heat treats.